Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 151 of Java for Tester series, that is java.lang default package. So, what is this java.lang? Java.lang is an inbuilt is one of the inbuilt packages case. Okay, is one of the inbuilt packages in Java. Let me show you. If you go to the if you just simply Google search for Java 8 API like this, you will be taken to the this search results and you have to select this first search result where Java API overview link is there. Okay, when you click on that, it will take you to the API documentation page of Java 8. And on the left side, as you can see, there are different packages and uh, classes, right? Scroll down under the packages, guys. If you keep on scrolling, java.awt, java.beans, like that, okay? Here, as you can see, there is some package known as java.lang package, okay? This is an inbuilt package in Java, guys, okay? Java.lang is an inbuilt package in Java, okay? And not only inbuilt package, guys, Java has a lot of inbuilt packages, right? So, Java has different inbuilt packages like java.applet, java.awt, like that many different inbuilt packages are there. But how this java.language is, how this java.lang package is different? how this package is different guys okay so out of all the inbuilt packages java compiler automatically imports java.lang okay you don't have to import this package guys as explained in one of the, as explained in the previous videos guys okay as explained in the previous video you have to import the inbuilt packages right for example, if I have to use the file, file is equal to new file, like this, okay? File, file is equal to new file. Here, file is a predefined class from java.io package. Here, you have to import this package, right? Here, you have to import this file class from this java.io package. Here, import statement is required for this java.io packages. Java.io is one of the Java.io is one of the inbuilt packages. You see, this is inbuilt package. Similarly, if you use other thing like date, date, date is equal to new date. Okay, if you use something like this. Date, date is equal to new date. Here also, guys, we have to import this date class from Java.util package. So importing is required even for the inbuilt package known as Java.util. Okay. But coming to this java.lang package, coming to this java.lang package, importing is automatically done, guys. Okay, Java compiler automatically imports. You don't have to import. That's why we call this java.lang package as default package in Java. Okay, which doesn't need any one to import it. Okay, automatically it will be imported internally by Java compiler, guys. You don't have to do anything. For example, guys, if I say system dot out dot print ln, okay, am I getting any compiler error here, guys? No. Is my Java compiler asking me to import the system class? No. Why? Why the system class? Why it's why the Java compiler is not asking me to import the system class from one of the packages? Because the system class belongs to which package, guys? Java dot line. Okay. The system class is one of the predefined classes in this inbuilt class known as java.lang. That's why as java.lang is a default package and Java compiler automatically imports java.lang, you don't have to import guys, okay? For all the other classes which are in the other inbuilt packages like java.io or java.util, you have to import them. You have to import this file class from this java.io, you have to import this date class from java.util, but you don't have to import this system class from the java.lang package because by default, automatically java compiler imports this java.lang pack okay you don't have to import it that's why we call this java.lang pack as default package okay it will be automatically imported by java compiler and you don't have to import okay so there are other examples okay there are other examples like string string str is equal to new string let's say if i create an object for the string class Am I getting any 
Am I getting any compiler error for the string class? No. The reason here is this string class also belongs to java.lang. That's why you are not, that's why Java is not asking you to import this string class from the java.lang package because java.lang package is a default package. Other classes which we generally use in uh, java.lang are integer. Okay. Let's create an object for integer class. Integer is a wrapper class, guys. Okay. As you already know, integer is a wrapper class. Integer, let's see and enter. Okay. New integer of you have to assign some value. You see, compiler error is not coming. Java is not, Java compiler is not asking you to import this integer wrapper class because it belongs to java.lang package, which is a default package. And it's automatically imported by Java compiler. You don't have to import this uh, Java, uh, this integer class from java.lang because it's automatically done by Java compiler. Okay. Other example is math class, guys. Okay. I'm only giving some examples which we already know. Let's create say math dot math class, right? Math dot. Let's give something like uh, we have some uh, random. Okay. Random method. Math dot random. If I say math dot random, are you getting any compiler error? No. Because math class. Don't have to be imported from Java dot language explicitly. Okay, math class math is a predefined class of Java guys, which don't have to be imported from this inbuilt Java dot lang because this is a default package of. Okay, this is a default inbuilt package of uh, Java guys, and Java compiler automatically imports it. Okay, these are few example classes under this Java dot lang package guys. Okay, Java dot lang package, which you don't have to import that package because that is a default package in Java, and all the other classes which are from the other packages like other inbuilt packages like java.io and java.util have to be imported explicitly. But these classes like system, string, integer, math, predefined classes from the inbuilt java.lang package don't have to be import, imported because Java automatically imports them. Okay, fine. So hope you understood guys how this java.lang has become a default package in Java. Okay. So that's it guys. In the next video session, I'll explain the other concept of Java that is class inheritance. So that's it guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.